I'm Amy, this is Living in Chrysalis, and look what finally came in after everybody else has done their videos. Oh well, let's get to it. Welcome or welcome back. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm super excited. Got my ColourPop order, which includes some items from their birthday collection. Cracked it open, but not taking a look, even though I suppose there's really no point in worrying about, oh, did I take a look? Because I know what's in it. It's not like it's a, it's not like it's a gift or a surprise. <laughs> it's an order I chose. So, happy fifth birthday, ColourPop. Congratulations to them. And go, Shawty. It's your birthday. Okay, that's seriously cute. <laughs> <laughs> Especially because my birthday's on Thursday. <sighs> so apparently we come fairly close to sharing a birthday. Except I'm apparently a wee bit older than ColourPop. Oddly enough, my first knowledge of ColourPop actually came years ago when they were featured on an episode of How It's Made. You guys remember that? Did they still make those? Well, because I have a Nikki boy. <laughs> no. Girls have plenty of interest in engineering too, but my son was really into that show, so we would watch it quite a bit. And one day they showed how the lippy sticks were made. Now, because a lot of the um, a lot of the episodes were filmed in Canada, I assumed that ColourPop was a Canadian brand, and I actually didn't know it was an American brand or how extensive their collection was until. I started on YouTube. <laughs> so, okay, YouTube is educational. I think I have my channel listed as educational in the descriptions. I'm not entirely sure, and I've got powder on my boobs. <laughs> Why am I brushing it now? You can't see that. Because I was not able to find a free shipping day, I had to delay gratification in ordering the Shayla and ColourPop Proceed with Caution palette. I'm assuming many of you have seen it, but I'm going to crack it open anyway. Why? Because I have no freaking discipline. Well, actually, I do. This box has been sitting here for two days waiting for me to film. So I guess I do have discipline. Okay. All right. Nice little protection. All right. Oh, hey. That maintenance shade looks much nicer in person. Okay. Yeah, that's actually more of a deep reddish brownish then it looked browner in the promotional photos and I for one am very happy Ooh, hazard it's like a hazard shall we oh, my arms are gonna be a mess Ooh, I know I have similar shades but I'm glad they put this in here it's still very nice okay I'm not gonna swatch the whole palette I will play with this one another day my very first Super Shock Shadow. Ah, This is the um, birthday treat. Pfft. Yeah, cover my face, right? Cover my fugly face. Nah. So, I swatched a couple of them in the stores, and of course I've been, you know, a bit concerned about their durability, but, you know, as far as not drying out, but hey, this one, this one came free with my order, so excellent. Okay, let's swatch this. Oh, oh, again, I think I have similar shades, but this one has a lot of glitter. Oh, that's going to be fun. Of course, to bring my order up to $30, I pick up another one of the lippy balms. This time I got a red one. This color is called... Dang it. Crap. I don't know what the color's called, but this one has a slight red tint to it. You can see my white face. Just a very slight reddish tint to it. And much like the purple one I bought, I, I wanted to get this one so that it didn't detract or change any um, red lipsticks that I am often inclined to wear. Of course, with this order, 
I think we all know what I was really waiting for. Yeah. A red ColourPop palette. How long have I been saying I wanted one of these? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Okay, so here, here she is. It's the little kilt. And those are the shades. I definitely see why they call it watermelon. These aren't like, you know, rich reds, blue reds. They are definitely lighter and burgundy. So I'm just, I'm not going to swatch the whole thing right now, but I am going to swatch just a few shades. Ooh, that is bright. I like that. Okay. And yeah, I can see why they said they're similar, but they have different finishes and there, there are... A slightly different shade. Now I guess the part that I still need to learn is I'm one of those people that my color vision, my sense of color is very good as far as differentiating shades. To the point where it's actually been a bit of a problem. <laughs> but um, what I don't know and the part I still need to figure out is how much that really matters when they actually go on the eye. So that's going to be part of my exploration. Okay, let me take a look at Maraschino real quick. Girl! Okay. Well, I'm wearing a black top, of course, and plan on pulling a red lipstick. I think I've decided which one. I didn't pull it yet because I wanted to get a look at the shades first. But let me go in because I have got to get going. I am going to pick up my a girlfriend, and then we are going to go see my husband's play. <laughs> yeah, and it's weird, because he's, he's one of those people that gets nervous, and he didn't want to know what day I was going to come. And I may have flubbed that up a little, but I tried to cover myself. <laughs> well, well, we'll see whether or not it worked. With me, when I was in plays like in high school and such, I... My only rule for my family was I didn't want them to be there on opening night because I figured most of the flubs, most of the truly embarrassing things, and most of the nerves for me were on opening night. So I figured after opening night, I was good, fine, show up to every performance if you want, sit in the front row, make an ass out of yourself, whatever, I don't care. Oh, oops, was that non-family friendly language? <gasps> yeah, well, YouTube can't demonetize me if they haven't monetized me. I suppose I should enjoy the wee tiny spot of freedom I'm going to have before uh, before I have to worry about advertiser friendliness. Although I suppose I should worry about it now because do, do they review all, like every single one of your videos before they approve you for monetization? And if so, does a computer do it or does a human being? I'd really like to know these things. I... I I'm only catching some of how it works. Okay. Oh, sorry. I, w I went into my above crease area with Frosé. That's this guy. And I'm going to go back into here with Like It's Hot, which is a very bright watermelon red, red shade, but it's a matte. Thank you. Oh, I'm so happy about this. Oh, this is cool. Okay. And yeah, there's some, there's some powder there. I'm not worried. It's 12 bucks. I mean, come on. I did pull out my Revolution Strawberry Sprinkles palette. Because I wanted to see if there were dupes. Hmm, those two kind of maybe. But other than that, I'm not really seeing much crossover, but I think that they'll actually complement each other very well. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to do a halo eye, but instead of using the matte on the inside, I'm going to go ahead and use the very similar home slice, which is a shimmer. <laughs> all red, all the time. Yeah, baby, yeah. Okay, I suppose I should blend that out a little bit. Should I go a little farther? 
Well, actually, now I think I want to hit a little bit more of that frosé in there just to kind of smooth out the transitions. Oh. I can think of some, some of my, my uh, super colorful YouTuber friends that are going to be so proud of me. Oh, let's see. So yeah, a watermelon monochrome look. Huh. Let's see, do I want to use maraschino or birthday treat? Hmm. Wait a minute. What am I talking about? Either or? Nah, it's going to be both. All right, so I'm going into maraschino. Just this middle shade, I'm going to hit the whole, whole lid here to go into the transition with the two sides of the halo eye. And no, I'm not flipping you off. Although perhaps I should flip ColourPop off. I mean, I, I was waiting for this. It, it finally cropped up. I popped up, I picked it up, and then what happens two days later? Come on, guys. Now, you know it's going to be a while before I'm going to be able to get this because I'm either going to have to wait for a free shipping day or I'm going to have to wait until there's enough things I want to do another full order. I'm going to hit my arch with Juicy Fruit. This is, this is an interesting shade because it looks gold, but it's got sort of a, a watermelon red shift. Oh my gosh, this is, I am so happy I got this. I was a little concerned when I heard some people fetching about too much color overlap. I'm going into birthday treat. Let me wipe off my little my finger. I really need to replace the towel I've got down there. It's getting really gross. Just a wee little spot of light. Oh, this is fun. Okay. As I'm covering up my whole... <laughs> Alright. Let's try to be an adult now. Why? Why do I need to be an adult? Oh yeah, I suppose I kind of am, aren't I? Mm. I don't think I should have done that. That's when we know I took it a step too far. Alright, well, let's throw a little extra concealer on there. It'll help me pan this stuff anyway, so... Oh darn, I'm using more product that I'm trying to get rid of anyway. Okay. We just hit a couple spots here. Now I gotta get moving. Okay. I'm gonna do the things. This is the final look. So what do you think? Let me know below. Oh, and the lipstick, in case you were interested, is Estee Lauder. This is the Pure Color in Cheating Heart. I'm not gonna take the lip gloss because this formula is actually really nice and feels nice and moist but the lip gloss I'm going to use for for like the matte formulas so if you haven't already please subscribe thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel and I will see you very soon thank you so much <laughs>